Let's be real, X-Men 97 perfectly handles superhero maturity through tasteful brutality, tasteful horniness, and tasteful dialogue. First, X-Men 97 perfectly handles superhero maturity through tasteful brutality. And I believe personally, the ending of episode 5 is the perfect example of that brutality. It's an attack on mutants and you can sense the absolute despair within all these characters and the way how it's animated is so beautiful. Just props to the animation there. And I think really that the animation really turns up a lot in this sequence and it really shows how brutal these events are. The way how they tastefully handle violence and blood in this show is just so well done. Another example of that tasteful brutality is when Magneto legit rips the adamantium skeleton out of Wolverine. And it sounds over the top brutal out of context, but it's handled with such class because they don't really overdo it at all. But it really shows the lengths Magneto will go to get his point across. At one point in this season, Magneto and Wolverine were allies, and now, a couple episodes later, his metal skeleton is gone. They tastefully handle the brutality of the superhero violence and fight scenes really well, and they bring in a lot of emotions, which makes the brutality hit far more, because it's supported by feelings and emotions. Next, X-Men 97 perfectly handles superhero maturity through the tasteful horniness. Yes, out of context, this reason sounds so stupid, and in context, it's still probably as stupid. But let's face it here, these guys are fucking. These horny ass motherfuckers are fucking, come on now. But it isn't in your face all the time. That's what she said. And the show uses it to emphasize the interesting dynamics with these characters and their maturity in the process. Like, yeah, they're definitely fucking. Poor Gambit. And they got a kid, so they're definitely fucking. Poor Gene. It's just a lot of fucking in the background of the show, but it's not in your face about it whatsoever. It's just like a tasteful innuendo that is so fun to unpack. It reminds me of those times when we were kids and we were unpacking all of those tasteful innuendos from Spongebob. Like you didn't catch it the first time, but now you do. And all of this drama in X-Men 97 borders on soap opera type shit. Yet I love seeing it in my cape shit. Finally, X-Men 97 perfectly handles superhero maturity through its tasteful dialogue. The dialogue in the show handles a lot by doing so little. It shows so much personality within each of these characters while not trying so hard. For example, Magneto's dialogue is so witty, yet insightful. I feel like I've gained five extra brain cells after listening to Magneto talk. Do not make me let you down. Everyone in the main cast has such distinct dialogues and distinct accents. It naturally fits the characters really well and it's just really fun. And yes, X-Men 97 has a lot of messages about our society and bigots and people filled with hate and spite and where they direct that hate towards people who are different than them. The beauty of this is that X-Men 97 never preaches at you, but shows you these issues. That's the beauty of the dialogue here. It helps us unpack the events that unfold in front of us, but it doesn't talk down to us. They don't tell us and insist on preaching this message to us, like we're at church or at a protest or wherever, really. But it shows us why these conflicts occur and the toll it takes. The dialogue only enhances that front. They're not trying so hard with their dialogue and their messaging, but they're just naturally letting it flow because it fits with the X-Men story. That's what I admire most about the show. I absolutely just despise when people describe the show as woke. I just dismiss them at that moment because, I mean, I can go a whole rant on why I despise the word woke. Shut. Up. Anyways, let's be real. X-Men 97 perfectly handles superhero maturity through tasteful brutality, tasteful horniness, and tasteful dialogue. But with good maturity comes balance, which X-Men 97 isn't afraid of having levity and fun. Actually, they embrace it, having tons of fun, but they really take the events around them very seriously, and I really admire that a ton, and that's why the tone of the show is so perfect to me. And looking at how well written, well acted, and well animated X-97 is, while not needing to watch the OG 90s series as homework, oh my god, that's a plus. This reminds me of the beauty of cape shit. Not to divide fan bases, but to unite them for our love for these caped crime fighting heroes and tights. Or in some cases, black leather?
I don't know what it is about Magneto wearing that sleeveless shirt and that sleeveless costume, but damn, it goes hard. It honestly got me hard.